CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to operate a PTZ camera using our NVR system with a compatible IPPTZ camera. Here at the top left hand side, you can see we have a compatible IPPTZ camera already connected to our system. So we're going to go ahead and check this camera out. We can either bring it into full screen by double clicking on this channel or also right clicking, going to single window and choosing this IPPTZ camera. You could also double click and go back to the four camera grid view. This button, the PTZ control button is here as well on this screen if you don't want to go into full screen. But for the sake of this video, I am going to double click this channel and bring it into full screen. Just by clicking on the camera, I can bring up this context menu with the PTZ control. So I'm going to click that. It's going to ask me to log in using the graphical user password. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here it brings up a neat little window called PTZ control. You can click and drag this window anywhere on the screen where you need to take it. And then you can, of course, use all of these PTZ controls. So these are my cardinal directions where I can point my PTZ and tell it to turn. Here I've reached the maximum turn on this PTZ for left hand. It's not a continuous PTZ, but in, then I can go about 355 degrees to the right. However, I'm just going to pan back to the left here to keep these cars in focus. And then I could also select the speed here for the PTZ. If I wanted to go faster, I'd select a speed of 9. And if I wanted to go slower, I would select a lower speed. And you can see that reflecting here as the PTZ is turning slower. But I'm going to set it back to the default 5, so I get a nice even pan and tilt. With the up and down arrows, I can, of course, do a pan and tilt. I'm tilting up towards the sun. Never really want to have a camera pointed at the sun, so I want to tilt that camera back down. Here are the zoom and focus controls, so I could zoom in, I could zoom out. Usually the camera is very good with its algorithm at getting a good focus. However, if I needed to make some fine adjustment, I could hear with the focus button. The iris um, can usually be controlled, but for most cameras, you're going to want to leave the iris control alone. Again, that algorithm is very good at setting the iris to the proper position. The set button will allow me to set presets. So let's say I wanted to set a preset one. I could turn my camera over here, click the edit button, click OK, and then it's going to save that preset so then I can go ahead over here. I'm going to just pan my camera back to the original position and I'm going to click the go to preset one button. With these presets there's a whole lot of other things you can do, however we're not going to show them in this video because they're mainly related to alarm inputs or based on motion detection. For example, if a motion detection event went off for another camera or this camera, you could tell it to go to another preset. However, I've set this preset, so I'm just going to click the exit button. I could also click, use the right mouse button to get back. And here we can see it's now put this preset in my preset list. So again, I could pan to the left here and then click the go to button to go to my preset one. Down here, there's uh, some other controls for different various PTZs. For example, here's the light on. If this PTZ had a light, I could turn the light on. If it had a wiper, I could use activate the wiper. 3D positioning would uh, work if my PTZ uh, we're enabled for 3D positioning. What that allows you to do is click it and then draw a rectangle. The PTZ would pan and zoom to that particular spot in the video where you've done that. However, this camera does not have the 3D targeting enabled. If my PTZ camera had a heater, I could turn the heater on here. If it had a snow removal feature, I could turn that on here. Hopefully this video gave you a decent overview of the PTZ settings that are available from the NVR system, as well as the controls, the speed, zoom, focus, and all of these other controls that are available on some select PTZs, and then finally setting up a preset. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.